what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, Through Peyton's Eyes here, and welcome back to a new video. Today, guys, I'm at my grandmother's house, as you guys can see in the background. Um, I am doing another video where I'm going fishing with my friend, a, uh, as you know, I'm Backwoods Anglin O'Reilly. I'm going around 3 o'clock again today. Um, get that all in film for you guys. It is currently like 12.14 right now. But yeah, I'm going to get that all in video for you guys. Um, I will get all the footage when we get to there, and I'll... Okay, guys, um... We are here at the lake right now. Um, we're at the same spot in Penobscot, but, but before we were back there. I'm holding gloves. So sorry for my gloves. I'm actually here. It's really short. Um, yeah, we were back over there, which is the mainstream. But right now we're in this like little pond with backward, back, it, backwards angling right there. Hey, backwards angling! Say hi! Okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're here. Um, we're just setting the poles because we don't have the main auger that his dad usually brings. So we're just going to sit here and we're drilling holes with his, uh, his smaller one right there. And yeah, we're chilling homes out, which is really freaking cold. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we're all set up. Okay guys, so we have just got the ice shack, set, uh, uh, ice shack set up and it is starting to get dark out there. We're much warmer in here, aren't we? Oh yeah, it's so much warmer. Oh yeah. Uh, we got one hole in here, we're going to jig a little bit. <clears throat> We were like literally freezing our butts off out there. Um, we got two traps set up out there. Um, can't really show you. Is that trap up? Is it? Oh no, it's just a shot. Okay, but yeah, it's starting to get dark. We're gonna stay here for another half an hour, and we haven't caught anything yet. And I'll see you guys in half an hour if we can, or whenever we catch anything. The dishes. They're gonna, they're gonna okay, guys. Um, I'm scared to death right now. I'm sorry. I didn't get. We didn't catch anything. I'll tell you that first. I'm in the bathroom because my nana's on the phone. Um, like I said, I was with. I'll tell you the story from the beginning. Um, so me and Backwoods Angley and O'Reilly, we went out and uh, I'm on a YouTube video. <laughs> my nana just came in, and um, so. We went out there, and we were out there for quite a while. We set up all our traps just before dark, and then we set up the ice shed about when it was just getting pitch dark. It's about 5.30, we set up the ice, and we're all sitting in there. About five, this is not a made-up story. Like, I'm telling you the honest-to-God truth here, and it's scared, it was a near-death experience. Um, so, 5.45-ish, we're looking at the clock, and we hear the wind pick up. Like a whoosh, and then it started getting bad, and it, we had our ice shed up. It was buried in snow and it wasn't screwed down, but it was buried in snow. It picked up so bad, it took the ice shed with me. I was rolling with the ice shed in the snow because there's no bottom to it. Um, he, my Riley got out in time, so he pulled me out before I could go across the lake. And so he ran after it, collapsed it because he jumped on top of it to keep it from flying away. And so he's like, come out me. So we got it in and it, the wind was so cold. It was literally death. Like you walked out in the breeze and it froze your whole body like my hands are still like shaking like a little bit not really but like they're freeze they're red my hands are red because it was so cold that like he stepped out to go get the tarp that flew off that we didn't know so he found it and came back and he was screaming he's like my hands are so cold i'm like i can't do anything we need to get we need to call somebody so his dad his dad said do you guys want to walk home or do you want me to come pick you up and we said we need you to pick us up because there's no way we're walking home in this weather and so he, he said, we can't, I said, can you come help us? He said, I'll try. He got down and called us again and said that the gate was locked. And there's a big gate from where we're fishing. And he said he couldn't get under it. He doesn't know where we're at, so he can't get to us. I, but, so anyway, so he couldn't get to us. So we're, we're collapsing the ice shed. We reeled up our uh, tip-ups. And we got our auger and everything. And we were running for dear life because I literally felt like I had frostbite. My hands felt like I, like I broke my finger. I think it was a couple years ago. And it literally felt like my fingers broken because they were so cold. It was pain. And, like, both hands were frozen. My toes were frozen. He said, I think I got frostbite. We finally get up to the car, and his dad drives us home. But, like, I was rolling with the ice shed. And everything was, like, black because my eyes were... Like, my eyes were closed, and I felt snow going on my back, which was horrible. Um, but it was... I'm talking, I know I'm talking really fast. I'm... I don't know, but it scared us because the wind it was out of nowhere it was like probably a minute we were just fishing 
just randomly, just low wind, and then all of a sudden it went, and just started picking up, and the whole thing was shaking. And we we're like, what's going on? And so he was on a lively, back when Danny was on a lively, and he says, oh my god, I gotta end the lively, we're gonna get torn out of the freaking ice shed here. We got torn out, and like I said, I rolled with it, and we finally got, we were deathly freezing. And it's pitch dark out there, I didn't get any on camera, I'm sorry, I was more focused on getting everything in the, the, the sled, and getting it back up to the truck before I froze to death. Um, but yeah, we're at least out there 30 minutes, half an hour at the most, uh, just picking stuff up and getting to the truck. And, yeah, um, that's my story. That, that, that just scared me. Um, but that's gonna be all for this video, guys. That's all I have to say, really. Um, sorry I didn't get anything else on camera, but if you guys did like this video, please subscribe, please like this video, because this is like, this was, m m many of you might not believe me about this, but I'm, I'm, may lightning strike me dead, like, right now, come through the house and kill me, that it was near death. Like, it was bad. Like, bad. Um, but yeah, leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.